In this video, I'll demonstrate what it looks like to run Sphinx in multiple Docker containers, and which can be helpful when testing distributed indexing, which is what I was doing here. So, you start off by taking a look at what containers are open already. We have Sphinx 1, 2, 3, and 4, listening on 9307, 9306, 407, and 406. I created a shell script to grab those ports and create a configuration file for the final Sphinx instance. We see that there's two sets of agent mirrors, so I've sharded the data. Each of those sets has a hundred documents. And we're using the HA strategy no deads. So if we kill a container, Sphinx will recognize that and not send queries there. So we just run this final docker run statement for our master node it'll be listening on 999 for MySQL protocol so we can use the command line client to check it out so we run it let's make sure it's open looks like it is there it is jovial Einstein and it's listening on 999 so we can open the command line client like so looks like it's accepting connections let's select let's select all from the index it's called dist Sphinx defaults to a limit of 20 so let's just do a thousand should be 200 documents and there are great let's see what happens when we get rid of a container stop a container and let's see if our query is still successful let's get rid of this one 9307 Sphinx 4. That should be one of the mirrors containing the first 100 documents. We're indexing from a MySQL table, by the way. So take a second to stop. Looks like it stopped. Let's open up the command line client again and query the same. nice 200 rows no errors or warnings looks like Sphinx is doing its job docker is helpful here otherwise we'd have to create if we were running multiple instances of Sphinx on the host machine we would have to create unique PID files and paths for log files and and data files here I could just start multiple containers off of a single image pretty quickly and easily and as you saw there after they're all started I just run make lord dot sh it grabs the ports and builds a configuration file with it so give it a try check it out learn about distributed indexing this is just the beginning thanks for watching bye bye